Welcome to Fly East Kitchen. I'm Jessica, your host, and today we are getting into something extremely special because it's my first time making it. <laughs> it brought back a lot of childhood memories because I've cleaned this protein often, but I've never actually made the entire thing by myself. We are making a whole red snapper. It's gonna be baked in the oven with the sweet chili sauce on top. It's gonna be so sweet and spicy. And I also marinated it with some Haitian eppies. And so we're gonna get into that as well. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment below, and let's get into this amazing recipe. The longest process when it comes to making this whole snapper is really the prep for it. Cleaning fish is not simple. So if you have someone that can clean and scale and do all the things, if your man can do it, if your girl can do it, listen, they deserve really a huge treat because honestly, it's kind of hard. <laughs> and I called my mom when I was doing it and I was like, girl, I gotta give you props because you was making whole fish all the time as kids, especially growing up Haitian, most Caribbean households, you making that whole fish. We don't just fool with the filet, we have the entire thing. And so although sometimes when you go to like the fish markets, they'll do a little bit of the cleaning for you sometimes, but oftentimes you just have to have it the way it is and then do all the cleaning at home. And so the first thing to do is of course, to grab out that whole snapper and get to cleaning. Okay, let's get right into this fish. You're gonna need lemon or lime vinegar water and patience <laughs> you're gonna grab your whole fish make sure that you're gonna be rinsing this out several times you can grab a fork and start to flake out those scales you might want to do it or you should do it a few times to make sure that all those scales are off and just you know just go in <laughs> use that wrist game and get those scales right off of your snapper you'll see them flying all over the place it's annoying i would recommend throwing on some gloves just so that your hands are not smelling fishy but if you don't have any you just gonna have to wash several times but again make sure that you use that fork scrape off those scales and then of course like i said you're going to be rinsing out this fish several times inside outside really get in there i don't want to show you guys the nasty part but you're gonna have to really pull out the lining inside any of the you know blood that's in there all of the yuckiness you just need to make sure you rinse it and wash it a good two three times to be honest throw in some white vinegar and again inside of the fish as well and once again rinse wash all of the things there you go that lime you need plenty <laughs> scrub the lime inside outside and wash it again squeeze the lime juice and then you're gonna cut three um, slices on each side now that our snapper is nice and clean the next step is to make our ear piece i mean i'm sure you could have made the ear piece beforehand it's really not a first step or a second step because honestly the ear piece is something that you're going to use for many dishes to come so let's go ahead and get going with our ear piece for my ear piece i have one sweet onion tons of garlic of course some dried thyme fresh thyme would be better but dried is all i had a bunch of uh, parsley and cilantro as well as some scallions which we're all going to chop up all of these things I also have a few cloves all of this is just about a handful and tons and tons of lime juice of course half of that lime juice is used so that you can clean up your fish but then you also want to squeeze some lime juice into your air piece the beauty about air piece you literally are making it your own and so as you're blending it together if you want to add more or reduce something or add a little bit of salt to taste or pepper if you want it to be a little bit more spicy it's really all up to you so normally uh, most Haitians most Caribbean cultures you would use a scotch bonnet pepper I'm in Charlotte so I didn't find no scotch bonnet but I did find habanero peppers which were nice and spicy please be careful <laughs> that you don't burn yourself when you're like handling all of these peppers with your hands so use gloves or definitely wash thoroughly. For the scallions, I cut them all the way up into the end and then you can actually keep the bottom and place them in a jar of water to grow some more. Add it all into a blender to blend it all up and there's your air piece. 
now that you have your earpiece all blended up make sure that you jar it with um like a tight lid on top so that it can stay fresh and good while you keep it in the fridge and like i said before you can use this for various dishes this is kind of like your base your starter for flavor it just has all that fresh herbs garlic salt um just all the goodies up in here every haitian household will make it different so just you know do your thing make sure that it fits in your palette and the things that you want and it's just like a great additive to all of the yumminess that you're going to make you are going to lather that fish up with the air piece okay you're gonna open it up add the air piece inside add it on top add it all over the place and those three slits that i had you guys cut from the on both sides you're gonna also add it in there you don't want the slits to be too deep but just enough that you can add the seasoning all up into the fish you're gonna have your oven at 375 and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes for our homemade uh, sweet chili sauce, you're just gonna need a half a cup of rice wine vinegar, a half a cup of water, one cup of sugar. You can use white sugar if you have it, but I have brown sugar. I have tons of garlic, like that was a lot of garlic. You don't need as much if you don't want to, but y'all know I'm a garlic fiend, so I put a lot. One tablespoon of light soy sauce, so that's gonna be the light sodium soy sauce. Four teaspoons of red chili flakes or red pepper flakes, as well as three teaspoons of a cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. You're going to mix that part up to kind of create a slurry. And then that is what's going to be like a thickening agent for our sweet chili. So in your pan, you're going to place it on medium heat and add in your red chili flakes. And that's just going to open up those spices. Get ready to sneeze because it is very strong. It's really funny how once you start heating something up, how it really just just like opens up those flavors even more anyways you're gonna go ahead and do that lightly toast it for about three to four minutes and then you're gonna add in your liquid so throw in your water you can already see the color has changed to kind of like a lightly red look and then you're gonna add in your light sodium soy sauce once again we don't need to have too much sodium in anything you're gonna have your rice wine vinegar add it into there and then in order to bring up that sweetness so it's not just all heat you're gonna throw in that cup of sugar i know it feels like a lot of sugar but to be honest you don't need to use the entire um sauce onto the fish if you don't like honestly it's great with it but you can kind of portion it um, if you like, if you don't like things to be too sweet and you kind of want more of a heat, then you can, of course, uh, reduce the amount of sugar that you put into it. Like I always say, use your cook stink so that you can kind of make it your own. Add in that garlic, baby. Okay, I love garlic. I don't care. I will always love garlic. Throw in that garlic, mix it all in, make sure that it incorporates and that cornstarch incorporates well. You're going to bring it up to a boil and that's what's going to cause it to thicken a bit and it's just gonna be kind of like a thicker sauce but i'm gonna add it onto our fish so our fish has been cooking already for about 15 minutes and you're just gonna add it to um to the fish so that it can bake for another 15 20 minutes and then you are good that sauce once again like i said is gonna thicken it's gonna become like kind of sticky all over and it's gonna be nice and thick and just attach itself to that fish so beautifully i also made some bok choy on the side because you know i wasn't gonna just eat the fish i'm sorry y'all and i just sauteed that with some onions some garlic nothing too crazy of course i really wasn't gonna eat white rice with this but my mom was like how are you gonna make this fish and not have rice on the side so i made a little bit of white rice all right we're all done we're all plated and now it is time to taste we're all done with our sweet chili whole snapper and i have to say i have to give myself a pat on the back <laughs> because I did an amazing job. All that prep and all that cleaning was definitely worth it because look how amazing this fish looks. That sweet chili sauce is nice and thick and sweet and spicy right on top of the entire fish. I chopped up some scallions just to add some color, but of course it elevates the flavor with some fresh garnish and some fresh greens on top. Now it is time to taste. The fish is so perfectly baked. It's nice and moist. Because we don't do dry fish over here. Obviously, since this is a whole fish, y'all be careful with the bones. I'm doing things that I wouldn't normally do at home, kind of picking it through like this. But, oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> 
But just be careful that you don't swallow any bones. I have to say my mother will be so proud. The Haitian airpiece really sets the tone for this fish. You have to blend those herbs, add all of those ingredients together to really elevate the fish to its highest level. And then the sweet sauce is amazing. You can even save a little bit for another dish. You can make some spring rolls and dip that into it. It is definitely an amazing dish. And I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, share, comment below, and I will see you at another episode of Fly East Kitchen.